Hello all, welcome back to my channel. If you're finding me for the very first time, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can be notified for future videos. Alright, you've asked for it, you've wondered about it. Today we're going to be covering global colors. Now global colors are a very easy process, but I've also discovered there are other processes to change colors during your illustrations or whatever it is that you're working on. So you may find yourself doing changing the color one by one, which is a little bit tedious. You may find yourself going to use another tools such as this to change set colors. And those are really tedious tasks that oftentimes does not work, especially if you're working in a screen printing setting or you want to effectively change colors throughout the entire art piece as you're working. And you'll notice on here that with these red white ticks on each swatch, these notify me to let me know that these are global colors. These are easy things to switch, kind of like this. All you have to do is just click on global and there you go. So what about this artwork? because how does it affect? Well, the beautiful thing about this is if I were to select this entire art piece, what I do is create a new folder, make sure that the convert process is to go blue is clicked. Let's just change the name, RG1 or RG2, no, RG1. And there we have it. Here are our global colors. So this is where it gets a little bit fun. So say if I wanted to change the blues here, what I would do is double click, click preview, uh, change it to purple, and there you see it. You see that the gradient has also changed because you see the pattern that we created it's also changed pattern and it affected the transparency as well on this color. Click OK. And this is where you're not super bogged down on these color switches and if need be you can create a new one. So let's see we have a light blue here so let's try to keep it within that range. That's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, you can always play around with this, create new colors, create new swatches, uh, but you're not married to whatever specific color or pattern that you've selected. You can always change it on the fly using this color library. Or you can create another artboard to create another. That's really it. So, and then we'll call in to that and thank you for coming and remember keep running and stay safe out there we're all in this together